Paxton, welcome to the program. How are you this morning? I'm doing good. Uh, thank you for having me this morning. All right, uh, let's get to the serious question. How tall are you? Well, uh, I have to get my dad to grab the tape measure for me. Is your dad and, uh, is your dad there right now? Yeah, my dad's standing over here. Okay. Um, are we going to go barefoot? Uh, if that, I think that's the real way to measure it, so I guess we will. Okay. All right. So we're going to have to trust your dad. He's going to measure you right now. Yeah, my dad's going to go get the tape measure. He already has it out. We get this uh, question quite a lot. Okay. Got the shoes off right now. All right. We're building up the drama here. I can feel the tension <laughs> here. Paxton Lynch, is he actually 6'7"? Dad, what's the tape measure say? 6'6 six, six or 6'7"? Six, Just under 6'7", he says. So, 6'6", six, six, 3 quarters? 6'6", six, six, 3 quarters is what he's asking. That's exactly what he says. Okay. All right. Well, that's all we wanted to know, <laughs> Paxton. Tell your dad thank you. Thanks, Dad. They really appreciate it. <laughs> now with spikes, so you're going to be over six seven with your uh, with your shoes on. I we had Brock Osweiler on before he was going into the draft. He actually lied about his height. He said that he was worried if he was six eight or even six seven, people would think he couldn't play the position. Are you hearing that you could actually be too tall as a quarterback? Uh, no, I've never heard that. I mean, anything I've ever heard from uh, being tall at the quarterback position has been a compliment. But I don't see anything wrong with it, except, you know, most tall guys aren't really that athletic. So that's kind of a knock on tall guys. Are you athletic? I'd like to think so, yes. <laughs> are, you, are you deceptively athletic, Paxton? Definitely. <laughs> uh, I've, heard that, I've heard that term all too often in my playing career so far. What's that mean, you're deceptively athletic? I think that if you just saw, you know, you saw me walk out onto the football field, most people wouldn't expect me to move around the way I move around, but, you know, once I get moving around and running, it's uh, deceptive how athletic I actually am. <laughs> Who have you been compared to? Uh, I mean, people have obviously compared me to uh, Brock Osweiler as well, just because of the height. Yeah. Uh, I've, heard, I've, heard, I've read some stuff about uh, Ben Roethlisberger and all that as well. Did you uh, always play quarterback growing up? No. Uh, actually, when I first started, I played running back. I played running back through Pop Warner, uh, all through my like JV years, like eighth grade, and then my freshman year, uh, my high school head coach said he wanted to bump me up to varsity and uh, play quarterback. And I told him I'd never played quarterback before, and he was like, "Well, he. I mean, I was already tall in high school. I was already tall than everybody." And he said, "You're you're too tall to play running back anymore." So. I mean, you're going to have to play quarterback eventually. So my freshman year is the first year I started playing quarterback and went from there. How many uh, scholarship offers did you have? Uh, coming, out of high, uh, coming out of high school, I had a couple to like Bethune-Cookman, FAMU. But then uh, Memphis was the first team to offer me uh, after my All-Star game. They offered me the last uh, weekend before signing day. And then on the morning of signing day, uh, UCF actually called me and offered me, but I had already made my decision by then. So I only had uh, offers from two D1 schools. Now, those are predominantly black schools, aren't they? Yeah. And did you yep. visit? I mean, did that surprise you that Bethune-Cookman uh, Bethune and uh, Fam FAMU came after you? Uh, I mean, not really, just because, you know, they're local, they're kind of closer to me, only about 30, 35 minutes from my house, so it wasn't hard for them to come watch me. And you would have been deceptively athletic on those uh, teams as well. You would have been extremely oh. deceptively athletic on those teams. Yeah, I'd like to think so. <laughs> <laughs> He's uh, Paxton Lynch, the former Memphis quarterback, joining us, Dan Patrick Show. How do you find an agent? Uh, well, I know after the Miami Beach Bowl, uh, you know, that was a pretty good game for me until, you know, close to the end of the game where I threw those three interceptions. But I know I try not to remember that part of the game. Uh, but after that game, my dad, he kind of contacted Lee, you know, just asking him, just, you know, because this season I had, you know, I had planned, you know, if this could be the season that I could possibly come out if and I the, play well enough. And this so. is Lee Steinberg, who was one of the – he was the quarterback agent. Uh, he had all of the big names for a long, right. long time. Yeah. 
And then uh, my dad contacted him, and, you know, he just kind of stayed in contact with him. And then throughout the season, uh, a couple more agents had, you know, been contacting us. And then you decided to sign with Lee Steinberg. Yeah, uh, you know, because Lee was just like uh, Memphis because Memphis was the first team that, in my opinion, actually believed in me and gave me a shot you know, to play college football. And, you know, Lee was the first agent that I had spoke to, and he was the first agent that showed interest, you know, believing that I could be, you know, a next-level quarterback. And he was around my family a lot, and he was around me a lot. And, you know, we just kind of grew that relationship. I enjoyed having him around, and that's what helped me make my decision. Also, uh, Lee does a great job, you know, in the past with helping these guys after they get drafted, give back to their communities, and, you know, be good role models to kids, you know, who want to who wanna, uh, play big-time football and do it the right way, which is what I'm trying to do. Are you going to throw at, your, uh, at the combine and, and uh, you have a pro day? When's, when's your pro day? I think uh, the pro day is going to be around April 5th. I'm not sure if that's set in stone, but I know it, it's going to be around that time just because the weather in Memphis is all over the place. But, you know, we, we ha- we've discussed the combine. And, you know, we haven't really made that decision yet. I'm sure once we get to uh, training and whatnot, we'll make the final decision on that. And what you should do is don't let them measure you at the Combine. Just tell them you've already done it on the Dan Patrick Show and uh, yeah. <laughs> then move on from there. Uh, the other thing we saw, a sports leisure management as your major. Uh, could you break that down for us, Paxton? Because we would have maj- majored in that, I think, had we known about this. <laughs> well, uh, when I first got to school, I was – You know, I really wasn't sure what I wanted to do. Nothing really interested me except for anything to do with sports. So that's what, you know, I kind of noticed. I talked to my advisor about, and, you know, I just want to be involved in sports whenever I'm done playing sports, whether it be coaching or, you know, working with the team or whatever it may be. What was the toughest class in sports and leisure management? Uh, Probably sport law was the hardest. I had to take that class twice, actually. Okay, all right. But the other stuff, uh, you know, I got to figure. You got you had some field trips in here. Sounds like it oh, might, might have yeah. been kind of easy here. Yeah, I mean, obviously it wasn't, uh, you know, chemical engineering <laughs> or nothing like that. <laughs> well, you know, you still got a got a degree, right? Yeah, I did what I needed to do. Uh, well, good luck. T- tell your dad thank you for measuring you, and tell Lee Steinberg we said hello. And uh, we'll talk to you down the road. Thank you, Paxton. I will. Thank you for having me on the show. All right, Paxton Lynch, former Memphis quarterback.